All right, guys, just here to talk about the Phantom Hoist system real quick. It's a new uh, casualty hoist system from Tactical Medical Solutions. So the background on it really quick is the military came to us and asked us to make our Foxtrot litter hoistable. And we didn't want to just stop there, we wanted to make every litter system in the world hoistable. So you can see the size of the system in its stowed version, the ground version here, relative to your average Foxtrot litter, just for a little, um, a little peace of mind. So what we have here is a pre-rigged casualty system, pre-rigged to go either horizontal with the casualty or vertical with the casualty, as shown in this configuration. So there's no external rigging needed, no mountaineering expertise. The system's all set to go. It has airworthiness and it's uh, got life rated uh, webbing from NFPA. It's a color coded system to make life super easy. Blue for the casualty, orange for the tagline, black for the system straps, and anything silver is life rated. Can't mess it up if you don't want to. Uh, Cobra buckles, so you can manipulate everything with gloves on. And we even went so far as to make it modular and add flotation for maritime uh, situations. So on average, with evacs and aircraft, it cut the evac time down by 50%. And that was the military testing study that was performed. So super lightweight, 9.9 .9 pounds with the rope and all the hardware needed. Easily uh, carried by any ground team and uh, easily stowed in any vehicle or search and rescue situation. So, the included hardware, 46 kilonewton rated carabiner is able to run the entire system and safely hook in a litter attendant to the same carabiner for easy uh, manipulation in an urban environment or uh, up a rock face or things of that nature, confined space. So it's an all-in-one system. It also has an included 100-foot tagline system that's a seven millimeter rope with an eight kilonewton brake strength. So if you needed to in a pinch, not just tagline, but you could safely lower a casualty on the system with acceptable safety ratings. Uh, so there it is, that's kind of in a nutshell. It's got a national stock number from the military already, so it's available for purchase. Uh, currently in use by several special operations units and uh, Los Angeles Sheriff's Department's air wing as well. Um, but if you have any questions, feel free to uh, contact us at TACMED Solutions or check it out on the website www.tacmedsolutions.com. Thanks. Alright guys, just going to go over some uh, features of the system up close. As you heard me say before, it's color coded for ease of use. Any blue strap in the system is to secure the casualty to the actual system itself. One and a half inch straps with black cobra buckles. These vertical straps are to uh, secure the patient's head in a vertical hoist situation if they're unconscious to make sure their head stays upright and their airway stays open if they're going vertical or if they're in a high rotor wash situation like under an Osprey. The orange pieces are for tagline only so they're not to be confused with anything else that's why they're orange. You'll also notice a molly panel right here and that is for the uh, option of add-on flotation with the system. Simply mollies on and you can use it in that configuration if your mission pr uh, dictates. You have black two-inch gold cobra buckles here to secure the system around the casualty itself in a variety of different configurations. Again, they're two-inch and different colored so you can't screw them up if you wanted to. And then everything silver is life rated to be able to draw out and hoist the casualty when you're ready to rig. These ones here are for the horizontal configuration. You have an easily identifiable head marker. You also have openings here that you notice, and those are to accommodate the feet of a talon litter if that's your litter of choice. However, this system can accommodate that litter or no litter system at all, or really any other litter system on the market, whether it be a Foxtrot litter, Matbach litter, whatever the case may be, it will work with this system. The casualties feet go in this bag here for positive retention. So if you're in that vertical hoist situation, there's no chance for them to slip out. Uh, other than that, more orange tag lines at the feet. You'll notice grommets, drain holes for if you're using it in that maritime uh, situation where you're gonna need flotation. Also, pre-rigged on the back is a vertical hoist pocket. You'll notice that it says vertical hoist. Again, make it easy so you can't mess it up. If you're going to rig in a vertical hoist situation, 
You draw that rigging out of the pocket and it's a single attachment point for your main carabiner to now rig and take your casualty vertical, whether it's going to be aerial or confined space, whatever the case may be. For night operations, we also have a chem light pocket here, and that's just for IR chem lights, so if you're going to locate the head of the casualty from the ground or from the air, in case you have any issues with the tagline breakage or something like that, you can tell if the casualty is spinning under night vision. Um, so fairly simple to use with a color coding. Again, rolls up really small and adapts to a whole variety of mission sets, accommodates any casualty, any litter system. So that's it again. Check it out again, guys. Uh, www.tacmensolutions.com. It's a phantom hoist. Thank you.